King Grim Padre here at it again another video now before I get into the topic of the video uh, let me give you some uh, background if you hear like a plane in the background my bad but let me give you some further information on my last video about Splatoon so you can get a full understanding of where I was coming from one um, you don't necessarily have to boycott the game nor did I say I was boycotting what I am implying is this if you are tired of this happening with games on the Wii U especially games made by Nintendo that have online functionality with very limited voice chat options maybe since the operations and maybe since the uh, the movements and the complaining hasn't been working maybe you should try not buying it and boycotting it why do I say that because people said they weren't going to buy Hardline and they changed it. People say they weren't going to buy the Xbox One and they changed it. The PS3 did not sell like hotcakes because of its ridiculous price. So Sony went back and changed it. That happens a lot. Um, it wasn't necessarily a boycott, but Nintendo realized, hey, no one's buying a 3DS for $250. Let's drop this price. It's with anything. You know, whether you want to call it a boycott or not, like, no, after Gamer Life is uh, doing some type of movement, that's fine too. You know, if you want to do that, but the reason I say you should do a boycott is for the fact that if, and remember, this is for the people who feel like I feel, those movements and stuff really don't work because people were complaining about Mario Kart, complaining before all of this, and nothing has changed. So how about this time you don't buy it, and people are giving you every excuse not to, um, to still go buy the game, and really, honestly, what it is is that they just want the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't care. Nintendo condition them anything. You know, if a third party did the same thing, they wouldn't buy it immediately. You get my point? So, yeah, that's just a summary of uh, that other video. But here today, I'm to call out to some more bullshit. Now, FromSoft, who I am a fan of their work, but they're also some lying sacks of shit. Now, this producer says uh, 30 frames per second is best frame rate to play action games. Oh, really, you lying sack of shit. Uh, Bloodborne is 30 frames per second. Why is it 30 frames per second? Because the PS4 can't handle it above that. Which is fine. Maybe Bloodborne, other than the other FromSoft games uh, that have released, it's very graphically demanded. Who knows? Who gives a fuck? The point is this. If 30 frames per second was better, why the fuck are you making the remake of Dark Souls 2 60 frames per second? Please shut the fuck up. What you're saying doesn't make sense. Anybody damage controlling this, anybody trying to spin this, is slow. Point blank period. You may say, damn grim going a little harsh but think about it like this when you hear so much bullshit all the time right you tend to get annoyed eventually and this is just an annoying situation I'm not arguing with nobody if you got like I said if you got a comment if you wanna you know I'm not I'm not I don't cuss people out, I don't do none of that but I do feel like you're full of shit if you if you are gonna defend this Remember, this developer, it's no different than Naughty Dog. The developer said, we can't go back to 30. 60 is the new standard, blah, 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 blah. Oh, now Uncharted is 30. Or we can't get it to 60 or whatever. Well, what happened to it's the new standard and you can't go back and yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? What happened to 30 frames per second being better? Well, why would you make Dark Souls 2 60 frames per second? As a FromSoft fan, I feel like, well, first off, I already knew you were lying. But now you just can't keep your lie going. You know what I'm saying? You're making your lie inconsistent. You know, now you're a horrible liar. See, one thing I can't stand other than a liar is a horrible liar. You know, it's just like, you know, if I can't stand when someone sucks at something they're trying to pursue. You know what I'm saying? Especially this bad. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Um, do you now see now, like, and, and this also goes out to all the people that really believe this. And I can't blame you. If you don't know the knowledge and you don't understand then I can't get mad at you if you don't understand that 60 is better. Games aren't movies, people. They're games. You play them. You interact with them. 30 frames per second, really it's 24 frames for a movie, is cinematic. Gaming and cinematic gaming and cinematic don't even go together. You know what I'm saying? That, it doesn't even make sense. Now, I can't agree with a lower frame rate in a cutscene or something. It does make the cutscene more cinematic. That is true. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen games where the cutscenes are 60 frames. And the cutscenes look as fluent as the gameplay, you know, which does lose a cinematic feel. It makes you feel more like you're really there instead of a cinematic feel where you're watching a movie. So if you want to say, hey, we want to keep cutscenes 30 frames for a cinematic appeal, cool, fine. You know, that, that makes sense. Uh, 
last time I checked, movies you don't interact with other than, you know, I guess watching them, you know. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, like I said, as a FromSoft fan, I like all their games. Um, uh, if I get a four this year, I definitely will be picking up Bloodborne. Um, regardless if it's 30 frames per second or not, it's really not the argument of, you know, I think, you know, honestly, at 60, it would be a better game because I played their games at a higher frame rate. So I know it would be better, but I have played them at 30 and I enjoyed them as well. I haven't, I didn't enjoy them as good as I did at 60, but I enjoyed them just as well. You get my point? So I'm not saying don't buy the game. I'm not saying the game's going to be shit because it's not 60. What I'm saying is if you're a fan, I hope you realize that they were lying to you and I hope you realize that they're a sack of shit. For lying. You get my point? You get it? You understand it? Anyway, peace out. Key game. And one more thing I want to say. You know, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of things have been happening in the uh, Nintendo community for the most part. And one thing I want Nintendo fans to understand, and all fans to understand is this. Please stop telling people like me or others to complain at Nintendo and not the fan base. Because you got to understand this. Um, I've had... Uh, I've gone to Twitter and did things like that. But see, my problem right now isn't with Nintendo. Like other people have said, this did not shock me that Splatoon had limited voice chat. It didn't shock me at all. I think I did a video on it. I mean, it was kind of like I, I saw it coming, really. You know, I've learned to accept that it has limited voice chat in all their games. Because honestly, I just think Nintendo probably doesn't know how to do it. Or Nintendo doesn't want to do it. It's one of the two. It's more though they don't want to do it. More than anything else, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what irritates me, it makes no sense to me, is, once again, I don't appreciate damage control, but if you're going to damage control, please make it good. You know what I'm saying? Don't do not do what Trey did with that whole, and a lot of people are, you know, are, are agreeing with him. It doesn't even make sense. Like, I still don't comprehend or understand how Operation Platinum, which I felt was a stupid movement, not because, you know, y your heart was in a good place. You get what I'm saying? You know, as a gamer... As a fan of Bayonetta, you want the game to do well. That's no problem. I understand that. But the other part of it, which was, if Bayonetta 2 sells a million or does well, that will show to third party that we buy third party games and M rated games. Well, no, because Bayonetta 2 is not third party. It's actually second party. Um, it's It was worked on and helped develop by Nintendo which goes along the lines of you guys only buy Nintendo products um, and exclusives um, for the most part. So, yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't answer that. That's the part I thought was stupid. The part about, you know, you're a fan, you want, just like um, at the game, like did the movement where he wanted people to support, uh, what's the game, uh, Metro Prime Trilogy. That's fine. He's a fan of Metro. He wants people to go out and play. He wants other gamers to experience the same game he enjoys. That is perfectly fine. No problem with that. But, you know the 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 operation platinum you know when you when if you split it in half one part made sense the other part just didn't cuz it didn't it didn't add up but people understood the the reasons behind operation platinum um the op, uh, the operation other prime people know what those are and what stands behind it so how could you sit here and say if we boycott this game they're not going to know why we boycotting it they're just going to think we didn't want the game that doesn't make sense to me and if someone could please explain that to me in the comments or in a video or whatever if you can twist it and explain it, please do, because um, I, I want to see that. But anyway, peace out, key game. And if you can twist uh, what FromSoft said, too, about the 30 and 60, because 30, remember, is best for action games, but yet they re-releasing Dark Souls 2 um, for uh, 60 frames. That doesn't make sense, does it? Because they said it's better at 30. So, you, so technically, in the eyes of FromSoft, they're giving you a worse experience on the PS4. Anyway, peace out, keep gaming.